Our Tara Molina is taking their concerns right to the plant. And Tara, can you describe what this is like? <laughs> I sure can. You guys, you know that strong, greasy smell? You get it after grilling out, cooking bacon. Maybe you've smelled it when you've walked behind a fast food restaurant. It's that really pungent, thick smell that sticks in your hair. It gets in your clothes. That's what the people living around the factory behind me are dealing with all the time. It's a quiet lakeside town full of family neighborhoods. But on a sunny summer day like this one, not everything is picture perfect. It's not something we can show you. You can't get your hands on it. But man, can you smell it? It's, it's so bad in the mornings. It's just, and the first thing in the morning, it's like you want to throw up. Combination of, of roasting animal fat and hair. And if you follow your nose or a recent list of complaints, you'll end up right here at Hardy Animal Nutrition. It was more of a putrid smell. According to the company's website, they manufacture animal feed ingredients. But I dug a little deeper than that. Back in 2013, the stench here was so bad, the company claimed to be spending high dollar on changes that would get rid of the stink. But all it takes is a quick whiff to see if that's always successful. I mean, they say they're trying to make it better, but I haven't seen no improvement. I think there's got to be some way to, to filter that smell. There just has to be. It's not just filling the noses of people who live here. The plant is a stone's throw from a Painesville fire station. The chief told me his firemen field a lot of the odor complaints, even file them themselves. We're probably the number one complainant. But we wanted to know more. Like, are the smells dangerous, legal? It's not harmful and it's not illegal. Lake County's air pollution controlman told me the smell is not caused by EPA regulated emissions. This is how he described what's causing it. It's, it's grease, oils, and fat. Still, the people who live and work around here are fed up. Ugh. Sick of closing their windows, cranking their AC, and worrying about their property values. It's something that we don't feel we should have to tolerate. Everyone we talk to, ready for some fresh air. It smells like baby, a baby diaper. And, ooh, man, you just fly through there. Close the windows and go by. I took all of these concerns straight to Magnus International. That's the company that owns Hardy Animal Nutrition. I emailed them. I called them. I have been for two days. I still haven't heard back. But as soon as I do, as soon as I get answers, you know I'll share them with you. Live in Painesville Township, Tara Molina, News Channel 5. You probably.